Well, good day, farmers. Welcome back to Farm Sim Saturday. So today we've got a whole pile of cotton in that field. <laughs> oh boy, uh, we are going to have to buy, I think, at least at least two more harvesting machines. So, oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Um. One's over there, we'll leave them there. We better run up to town. Grab another one. I don't know if we can get two on this trailer. Probably not. Now, cotton is one of the ones I don't generally do a whole lot, like potatoes or the sugar beets we haven't actually done on here yet. Or the yams, or whatever you want to call them. Just because they uh, they take forever those kind of crops and um, to, to harvest especially um, and uh, let's think here what was I saying oh the uh, cottons the cottons all right but it does take a long time to uh, to harvest. So. We're going to see how many of these machines I can buy. We might have to start trading in some of these trucks to get rid of the, rid of them to, uh, you know, get a bit of money returned to us. We didn't do too bad last week with our crop, bringing it in. So. There's our baler for the uh, poplar whenever we get to that. Uh, cotton, so. I don't know what the difference was with this one. I think it's just a big baler. I'll have to try that at some point. I think it does, uh, doesn't do, this one's not cotton even though it's the cotton one. But it must just make, someone's converted that, I guess, it just to make great big, huge bales. Yeah, 15 meters, too, so it's it's good wide. Good wide, but that's the other one that we that I got. It, uh, I don't know, it would not hook up to each other. Wow, these things are expensive, holy smokes. Uh, okay, well, let's just make sure, yeah, that's what we're going to need. One, two, I think I'm going to get three. I have four gold in that field. Minimum. <laughs> Minimum. Well, now we're down under a million. Could afford one. Well, two more if we really wanted to. Alright, I think I found these things were better um, if we backed them on. Don't think we're gonna get two, two on this little trailer. One's definitely gonna be heavy enough. <laughs> so we got some transportation to do today. There, now the tailgate. Uh, oh boy! <laughs> now the tailgate uh, stays up, so in case it wants to fall off, it shouldn't hopefully probably will anyways but oh boy poor truck I wonder if this trailer 
it should, it should hook to my transport truck. I wonder if that would haul any, this, I mean, this is hauling, it is fine, but it's just killing the poor guy. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, boy. Um, so, we'll leave one here, I guess. Still gotta fertilize again here as well. So I should knock the time up a little bit here. Hey, let's grab the transport truck. Where on earth is he now? I think I left him in here. Here. Nope, I didn't. Okay, I just wondered if it would hook to that too. Uh, boy, oh boy. Uh. There he is, that's right, he was at the bales. Okay. Let's see if that, uh... I don't know if it's gonna get high enough in the air for the hitch. It should. It should hook. I've seen people hook them to them before. They have the same little hook thing that goes into the little fifth wheel plate thing there. It should hook to it. That'd be a little better for... For yank, and I think. Whoa, wait a minute, where am I going? Oh, wait a minute, we gotta slow down that time too, because we got our first uh, growth stage there now. Well, let's see. This is gonna work here, or not. it should. And we'll get this hooked up here, hopefully, and then uh, we're gonna. Fertilizer spreader coming out here to fertilize this stuff for us. Yeah, I don't know what was going on with Bud last last week. Oh my goodness. What a nuisance that was. Yeah, she hooked up. I figured it did. I've seen actual trucks hooked up to these trailers. I've seen uh, travel trailers hooked up like that. And that looks kind of funny. Okay, yeah, so starting to turn afternoon, so. Uh, do we want this one or. Or did the other one just go right beside? That one's got a, almost a full trailer. Tank, sorry. Full tank. I oh, one with no brakes. Start braking now. It's probably actually enough stuff in there. Alright, so yes, we've got this little field. Start in this far corner, let him work while we're bringing stuff in here. Oh, they missed one little stripe there, probably when he was messing up. All 
right. Fertilize in, fertilize in. Just gonna pass the rock and let him do his thing. Goodbye. All right. Yeah, they missed one row planting here. Wonder what happened there. I don't know. He was something was off with Bud last week. I don't know what was going on. I've never seen him acting like that and not completing rows and and oh man, just so much crap. Backing up the whole way and not turning around at the other end and it was really odd. Well, let's see if the truck squats at all when we put these machines on. Shouldn't squat, but hey, you never know. them ramps down. Oh, we're gonna have to come back and get our our tanker too for the milk. We uh probably gonna have to do a little bit of cow work today. Yeah, I would say well I better get in there and top them up. They need to be done, I guess. Couldn't quite see the truck squatting. I don't think there's any squat there. Go down at all? I don't think so. It's hard as a rock. Oh boy. Yeah, we're not going to get another one on there, I don't think. That thing would just go up a little bit more. If I unfold it, uh, that thing. Sh oh no, that's the. Oh, no, that's not gonna work. That's the ramp for when you unload it. So yeah, that's that's not gonna work. It won't go up until you unload. Uh, yeah, I'll just put that saw back down again. Well, she's in there anyways. Should be able to put the ramp right up now. Oh yeah, this is night and day difference. Poor little F-250. <laughs> I mean, it dragged it along pretty good, but this is definitely superior to that, so. She looks a lot better too, dragging this. It's just like a train. Oh, he's coming flying down here. All right. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So we'll start one in the middle here, I think. I don't even know if we're going to get all this stuff. Uh, bailed today. I mean, I'll just let them work at it and uh, eventually they'll get it done, I guess. But holy smokes, this is going to be a lot of work. One there, one there. And then the other one will start on the other side middle part by the uh, the other guy. Four of these machines going on. That should be decent enough. 
let's see if we can back her into the driveway here. Backing up is definitely a skill. Definitely a skill. Backing up trailers, bigger trailers, transport trucks. I've seen a lot of videos too on, uh, I think it was YouTube stuff, on uh, trucks backing in, crashing in, you know, like in a truck stop kind of thing, crashing into other trucks as they're backing in. I can understand why, because unless you got a camera, say, on the back of your trailer, kind of watching that, when you're, so say you're, Say you're coming in like this. There's another truck like here. And you're kind of backing up and trying to get in. You can see down the mirrors down down this side fine. But all you're seeing back there, you know, is that kind of thing. You got a big box behind you, right? So you're backing in and all of a sudden, boom, you've crashed into this side kind of thing. Because you can't see down the side of the trailer. Just the way things are, right? But, I mean, to, to get in and... Back in some of these places my stepdad used to back in. I'm like, how? I can't think of any examples offhand, but man, he was really good at the backing in stuff. All right. So we'll check our, um, well, we'll get the cotton grown here, and then we'll check our growth on the poplar bales. That might, might be for next week. I don't know if it's, it's going to even be ready for that. It does take quite a while. Yeah, no squat at all. <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, yeah, that hooks right in. I guess the same pin type of hitch back there as you know a normal trailer would be it's hard to believe though that all this weight and the trailer weight is being pulled by that one little pin same with like you know the uh, the big box trailers and stuff they load those full of something really heavy and, uh, man, it's getting all dragged by that one little pin. I don't know, it's kind of interesting. You don't really hear any problems with them anyways. It must be a really hard pin. They don't break at all. Or require, like, way more force than what is actually being pulled to be able to be uh, broke off. All right, so we'll start this other guy sort of middle, like I say, middle over here. The fertilizing seems to be going fine there today. I don't know what's going on last week. That was really strange. Yeah, so we'll start this guy. Maybe down here and get him going that way. Um, let me think now. So let's just go over and see where these other guys. We've got two down there. So one... On the far side, one on this side of the long side here. Yeah, so one there, one here. We'll make him go up here. And the other guy we'll do on this side here, I think, like we normally do. And then that one guy way over there. That should keep him going for a bit. We should get some fairly decent money, and then we'll have to do, of course, this field, but... Should get some fairly decent money out of uh, out of these uh, bales. I don't remember now last week how many we did, but how much we did for those couple of bales? It was pretty good though. I don't know if we'll make our money back as we spent. Um, well, we could find that out if we go in here. How much on new equipment? New equipment. Uh, so, well, hang on a sec now. 
I'm going to have to calculate this on my phone because I bought something else there. I don't know if that's all part of that. But, uh, okay, so what were these things? 485000 At least we don't pay tax on this. Times four. Yeah, so $1.9 million. $1,940,000 exactly. Oh, okay, so we got to make more than two million back on these bales to make our money back for these machines. I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but uh, we shall see. So, while well, these are still getting sprayed, that guy might be actually in the way there. I'm going to run up. Oh, I'm going to go run and grab a tractor. Load that on the trailer. Come on, baby, back up. Uh, load that on the trailer. And uh, I am going to go back up to the shop there and bring that baler. Now, what is this guy doing? We better have a look at that. I'm not too sure, but <clears throat> that little section there messed him up, I think. Little section messed him up. <clears throat> I think so, anyways. Okay, let's get him started back here again. He's missed one little stripe down here, so maybe we'll do that while we're in him here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, it's done. Must have got double fertilized some other way or something, but uh, that's okay. So let's go grab a little tractor of some sort, and uh, we can grab that baler and bring it all back. Yeah, backing up stuff, big stuff, is definitely a skill. Definitely a skill. I've never backed up myself anything on a fifth wheel like this, though. Only just bumper mount stuff, right? Or trailer hitch mount stuff. Oh, we need a trailer. Or a truck. Or a tractor. One of those things that starts with a T. So this guy's sitting here, but I don't think I need something that big. He was getting fueled up last week there. I'll just grab one of the small guys. You gotta think too, you can't generally look through a back window when you're backing up. So they're all doing it from sitting in the mirror, doing the reverse, so it's, that's something else you got to get used to, too, right? I used to be good at backing up when I worked at the rental in town here, backing up wood splitters that were, like, on the back of the truck. And, uh, you know, so say it was bumper mounted, and that thing would be sitting about here, so you couldn't hardly see it. You wouldn't see it in the mirror. I used to, used to have to back that up by looking at the mirrors and uh, seeing the shadow. Shadow's coming over. Okay, turn the other way a little bit more. That's how I used to back them up. It was pretty interesting. I think this one here should be able to hook onto that. Yeah, backing it up, watching the shadow. Sometimes it wouldn't work because the shadow wasn't in the right spot, right? But... That's how I used to do it. Hopefully we can get this all on here. That thing is pretty long, but I think we sh should be all right. All right, we'll whip up to the shop and grab that baler, and we'll take him right over to that field there. That's where we're going to need him. I don't know if this tractor will be enough to run it. I'll probably put the case on that baler or something. 
This little tractor is, well, I don't know, it's not really good for running a whole lot of big stuff. that up. Alright. Oh, this might not all fit. This might not all fit. <laughs> might not all fit. It's got a, quite a long uh, tongue on this baler. I wasn't even lined up at all. Well, that's kind of cool. Huh. Whoa, Nelly, where am I going? Wow, that ever take off on me. lined up to see if we got enough room for everything. That's all we got. I told you it would fit. I don't know what you're all worried about. Yeah, that'll fit on there. I think the ramp might even close too. Oh, just perfect. <laughs> I couldn't got any closer than that. Nice. Can't tie nothing down. I wish those would work, but um, anyways. That'd be something to make it more realistic, too. You actually have to go and, you know, chain stuff down or ratchet stuff down one at a time, not just like, you know, <gasps> boom, they're all done. No, like, I wish they'd... I hope the new version's got a little more realistic stuff in it, you know. Like, it probably won't, but because none of them have yet, but anyways more maintenance stuff, blew a tire, need to get the tire guy in the middle of the field fixing your tire, more repair stuff I'd be interested in in this game, but uh, I don't think they focused on that, that's for sure, that kind of stuff. Hydraulic line, so I blew a hydraulic line on this baler, okay, I have to get that fixed. Go to town, go to the hydraulic line guy and get a hydraulic line made and... Kind of like the gold mining game. That was kind of neat where you, you know, you had to buy extension cores and stuff, you know, all this stuff and stuff would wear out and then, yeah, you'd have to, you know, do that. So, all right, I don't see any growth on this yet. <laughs> Holy smokes. It might get a bit once we, oh no, there is a bit of growth. Sorry, it just drew in now. All right, we'll just leave all this here. I think we're good. So it is starting to grow, little poplar trees. It's 100% fertilized, so that's good. That'd be a big job when we get in there and do them. That'd be awesome though. Love baling. Like square bales better than rounds, but um, okay. Well, let's. I guess while we're waiting for him to finish there, which he won't be too much longer, we'll do some some haying or some feeding with these fellers and ladies here. Must be one feller in there because we uh, get babies <laughs> somehow. So, the, ooh, they need cleaned out too. I'll fill up their water trough first. I think I could use my tanker actually. We do need to go back up and get that too. My big tanker would probably fill that thing a lot faster. But the problem is, though, I, I'm not sure if you can unload, you know, see, 
That would be the problem. I need another tanker. I don't think, if, you know, if they didn't take the whole thing and there's still some remaining in my trailer, tanker trailer, then uh, I'd be stuck with it in there and I couldn't take the milk in. Actually, you know what? They might not need this right now. Uh, yeah, they do, but... Oh, sorry. That's why. They're just about half a tank there, so that would be good for a wee while. And it doesn't unload while I'm out of it. Alright, we'll go for another one here. have to go cut a bit of grass for them, I think, two straight grass, um, because they definitely could use a, a load of that, I think. Yeah, we're still trying to figure out them uh, conveyors over there to get that manure to load a little better. Something, they're not doing something right with them. I don't really know what it was, but... Okay, what are they at? Uh, getting there. One more probably to fill them up. Probably just be as easy to run a hose across, you would figure, but anyways. That's the way she works. I'd like to add pigs somewhere at some point, too. Um, where exactly, maybe down off of this road, kind of thing in that little sort of triangle-y piece there, where the, you know, this parking lot area turns into gravel there, and then maybe just down off to that way a bit, somewhere near that pigs in there, maybe. Okay, that's, that's got them up there pretty good. Let's grab, uh, what are we going to do now? we got to clean out the pen. Grab some some of the stuff on this. This thing seems to pull it up too, which is good. And then start feeding. Give right back to them. Okay. I'll do some. Oh, I got all this stuff in the way now. Yeah, I don't know. Something's weird with those. Uh, those uh, conveyor belts. All right. So they need. Total mix will work on here first, I guess. Can't remember my ratios now. How much to how much to how much. Um, let's see here.
at 75. Could use a little more. I guess A would be fine. Yeah, pretty close. Get her mixing. I like to get one of those mixing stations. You just dump all the stuff in and does it for ya. Ooh. Should look into that maybe. There you go, ladies, pig out. We'll bring you some straw for your bed in there too. Should be going up. Total mixed ration. <clears throat> Holy smokes. It took a long time, I know, to uh, initially get it done here, but uh, still going to take a while, I think. Yeah, the conveyors, I, I don't know. The manure... I mean, it's going to take weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks to get enough manure to actually do that whole field. Whoa, stop. Stop! Holy smokes, it wouldn't shut off on me. Jeez. Oh, we got too much silage. Maybe we'll just do this one full silage. That wouldn't shut off. That was weird. Just do one load of silage here, I guess. All right, one load of silage. Let's just check and see how he made out there. Oh, yeah, he's good. All right, so we'll juice up the time here to get that stuff going while we're feeding here. There you go, ladies. that seems like a little bit too much like I know cows eat a lot but holy smokes how much we got to put in here I guess it's because how many cows we got we've got uh, you know quite a few cows there oh we got no we lost one there well I don't remember now Okay, some more total mixed here. Slowly getting through this pile of stuff here, which is good. About 30% in here. Alright, that'll be good for that. Good. Oh, come on, rain. Actually, that's all right. So the crop's growing right now. Well, 
they sure make a mess fast. Okay, you're going in the freezer then. It's funny how it lifts them up like that. And you go nice and gentle like. Okay, how much are we looking at here now? Holy smokes, I still need more. Holy cow. Gotta do some grass for them too. I think I'm gonna do at least two more loads of total mix and then uh, they'll need just some hay or silage. I think I'll just give them silage because I know I got lots of that. Lots of that in that digester unit there too, those big tall silos. Alright. And it loads a little faster, I'm just trying to eat up all that stuff in there. Pretty good. Our sleepy time now. Twenty after one in the morning, we're still feeding. <laughs> I don't know. Something's wrong here. Should bring them up. Holy man. That takes forever. Yeah, I think I'll do one more total mix. Yeah, I don't think this ratio is right. They shouldn't need that much. Something, something's off a lot. Probably because I got so many cows. I guess that's maybe messing things up. But I, I don't think they're going to need this much food. So hopefully in the new game coming out that they've kind of addressed that. You know, how much a cow is actually eating in a day. I guess they're not out in the pasture either though, right? That cotton should be just about ready. How are we looking now? Holy smokes, we're into the green at least. 
Hay, silage, and then grass. I need grass. Hay or silage. I think I'm just going to give them some more silage here, but I might use the uh, big trailer there. Um, the white should be able to pull that. Turn that time down because I think that stuff's probably ready over there. Let's just have a see. We'll get them going, maybe. Growth ready to harvest. Sweet. These guys are going to have to work with this for quite a while here, I think. They don't go very quick. <laughs> All right, we'll get that guy going. We'll get this guy going kind of maybe over here-ish. Start this guy a little more this way. And we'll start this guy over here. I think I might do more oh, access to this land. Are you nuts? I have access to this land? <laughs> Do one swipe this way, maybe, for this guy here. Just so we get a little bit extra room. Holy smokes. Cotton, cotton, cotton. <laughs> it is a pretty cool crop, I must say. When they did add this into the game, I'm like, oh, that's kind of neat. That's kind of a neat one. All right, let's get this guy going back here on the far side. We'll go back and finish our feeding for the ladies there. Probably should get our tanker back to All right, those guys should be oh yeah, what's this guy doing? He didn't like the rock, did he? Nope. Something about this rock here. I don't know what it is, but man. So he kinda messed up this corner already. Get him going past the rock here, and then he should be all right. Yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. Okay, there you go, Harold. Take over. Oh, what's he doing now? What are you trying to do to me? Get him well past the rock and then try him again. I don't know what's going on in this field and why these guys are screwing up. That is so weird. All right, let's try him again now and see what happens. Might have to do this first row myself. I don't know. I mean, whatever, I can do that. That's fine. But I've got cows to feed right now. All right, I think he's all right. I don't know, though. Definitely acting weird, but I think he's all right now. Okay, well, we'll let these guys uh, work away here. We'll go back over and uh, keep 
feeding here. What were we doing here? Uh, we were going to hook on to the big trailer here. I think this trailer over here. Get this filled with some silage here out of the silo building if I can get into this. I know this little pad here has a little bit of issue. Uh, not too bad today. Oh, well, this is my manure spreader. What am I doing? Wrong trailer. <laughs> It looked exactly like the other one, so anyways, my bad. That's not going to work, is it? Nope. Let's try that again. Yeah, I don't know why I did that, but anyways, that's what happened. This one here. This is the one we need. Whoa, easy. Should be able to put silage in this one, I think. There we go. That'll get them fed a little quicker. Silage. Yeah. Silage. All right. Helper B is blocked by an object. Really? Oh, the... Yes, okay, that makes sense. This uh, sprayer's in the way here. We'll take him back later. No, that's not the right one. That'll get us close. Too many stings. Too many things. Too many things. Oh, that's a heavy load. Hopefully I can get in the building here. Should be able to. I'm probably not going to be able to get back out, though. I better go in this way on this side, maybe. All these conveyors, I, I don't know. I might just get rid of these conveyors and just use the loader whenever. I'll have to try it again, but see if I get it to work. Well, that turn didn't work too well. Still might not make that in there. We'll adjust. There, that'll fill them up pretty quick. Should, anyways. And that's what I'm talking about. The other way is just so slow. This works so much better. Uh, I think that's all I'm going to give them there. I'm going to have to get them some straw now, too. Oh, we got left in here a fair bit. Probably going to be enough anyways. This should be enough for them, I think, today for this straw. We'll probably have to bring stuff back, I'm sure. And we'll have to do some grass, I believe. Yeah, they'll need some grass.
should be filling them up pretty quick there. Oh, yeah. That's probably it. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Just going to try to back out of here. that in there. That's good. They didn't need a whole lot, but brought them up anyways. Alright, let's park this trailer. Find our forage wagon. Where on earth did I leave that now? It's been a while since we used that. Maybe still over there. Uh, not in this building here. Oh, there it is. That's what we need. I love the little white tractor here, but I think I'm going to switch to the case. Just a little bit too small for that big forage wagon, I think. I mean, it even looks small enough behind this uh, case tractor. It's, you know. Oh, missed again. Alright, let's go cut some grass for them. Might as well try to do a whole load here, I guess. Bring it back and then uh, check these fellers on the way by. Looks like they're plowing snow. All this white out in the field here. Looks like they're doing good. Oh, there's one bale out there. That's good. He's actually... Oh, I want to get him going the other way maybe here. This way, I think. Looks like he just ejected that bale not too long ago up the field there, so that's good. Yeah, I'd rather have him go that way. Oh, what's going on up here now? He missed a whole bunch. Why? Oh, why are they having so much problem in this field now? Oh, my goodness. We started them up here, didn't we? Holy smokes. I don't know what's going on up this side here now. Why would they... Yeah, he. we got him well past that rock, remember? And then I don't know what he was doing, but he messed up. Holy smokes. I don't get it. Why is he? Why are they doing that over there now? It's because these trees are in here. They've been in here a while, though. It's well past those trees. Like there is no issue up there. I don't know what is going on. There should be no issue. Wow, because you know Bud was messing up. These guys are now messing up. That just seems kind of fishy. What would be causing them to do that? We haven't done any changes up there. And they've been fine for quite a while. Now, for some reason, there's something here they don't like. And I don't know what, what it is. I don't think think it's these trees. They do get kind of tight there, but I wouldn't imagine that's an issue, because it wasn't before. Huh. Well, I don't know. Maybe I should just plow in that first little bit there and not 
worry about it, but that's kind of frustrating a bit, isn't it? Well, I don't know what to do. Planting seemed fine, though, if I remember right. The planting this stuff was fine. It did the whole field just perfect. But the plowing and now this harvesting is kind of screwing up. Interesting. I don't know. I have no ex explanation. few runs back and forth here, get some, some grass for them, and then uh, whatever we don't use, we'll just throw in the digester there, and make her down into silage and digestate, I think they call it, which is like the gooey stuff that we can get a big spreader, big wide sprayer spreader thing, and then we'll spread that out on the field when we have a whole whack of it. For some reason, it draws out of the tank of that uh, spreader really fast, and it takes forever to fill it, if I remember right. I don't know why it's doing that, but it doesn't seem to last too long. Well, let's, uh, let's get one trailer of grass. Anyways, I don't think it's going to really take a whole lot. Uh, they're not going to need, yeah, it's like half a thing, so we'll just do maybe this one run and then we'll fill up the, start filling up the uh, forage wagon there and see how we're looking. We have to do more, we can uh, do some more, we got a whole bunch more here we can do. That should be pretty much a full trailer I would think there, pretty close anyways, close enough. for a moment we'll pick this all up here man I love this thing it's fantastic should be able to get two rows here easily oh I put the header down that is that'll help there bud there we go now she'll fill up trailer here. This is holds a lot more than I remember now. Might get like five or six percent maybe <laughs> by the time we get this done. But we can mow more if we have to. There's lots more to mow there. That's actually probably enough for the cows right there, honestly. What are they at? 130, so that's well, hard to say, actually. They might need a fair bit more. Wish you could get them out in the pasture. If I could put a pasture out behind that building, that'd be kind of neat. Yeah, this thing, I don't know if I could drag this behind the uh, mower or not. I'd have to try that and see. Not sure if it's got a hitch on it or not on that mower. Uh, one bale there, that's good. I think there was one up at the other end, one in the middle. Stupid low res stuff, can't see it now. Uh, there's a few anyways, I guess we could get our truck out and start go pick them up too. Only put two on, I think, per uh, flatbed there. 15%. Well, we'll go try that maybe and see if they need any more. We can cut some more. 16%. That should be probably pretty good. I 
Some nice, yummy, fresh grass. Oh boy. What a treat. Yeah, I'll have to get him. See what's going on in that. I don't know. That's really weird. Like Bud last week, it was just atrocious how much he was messing up. I didn't I didn't get that at all. It made no sense to me. Got all our balers still sitting there too. I don't know if we need them really now or not. I don't really want to get rid of them, but um, yeah, we might do some more bales eventually. I don't know. So we get fork bales into the, the feeder thing there, right? So, oh, missed my turn. Uh, into the mixer, we could use the bales, so maybe we'll bring some back here and just stack them up, kind of thing. Need a big bale house somewhere where you could actually drive it. Oh, is this going to fit in here? Oh yeah, that's right. Glitches through. All right, ladies, there's some grass for you. That should fill you up, or not? Nope. I think we're gonna need to do some more. That's into the green now, anyways. Five, four, three. Well, that might be all right, actually. Two, one, zero. That guy. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, that would work. Okay, so total mixed ration. It's not great yet. Hay and silage. Could use another load of silage. I don't know whether I can use this trailer for loading silage, but let's give her a shot here while we got her on. Oh, boy. Here we go. That was <laughs> just a perfect ramp right up there. That's crazy. Let's see, can we put some silage just into this? I don't know if this will work or not. Probably not. Oh, it does too. Okay then. Yeah, this thing holds a crazy amount. It's 50,000, I'm sure that would be probably enough. So yeah, this thing does have a huge capacity on it. I remember that now. Or the straw aspect of it works really good because you can just pick that up and do her that way. But uh, we might do some more bales maybe next time when in the field there. Do some more bales. I wonder if I could do mixed ration in this. <gasps> hey now. Well, let's finish this off first here. I don't think you're going to get your, yeah, your mixing thing, so you'll probably never get it right. But if I had one of those uh, mixed ration buildings... That might work too. Alright, they look like they're full. We got a little bit left in here. Well, let's do a little experiment here. Holy smokes, I need to move these things out of the way. <laughs> so we got little bit in there. I don't know how much 35% is worth in the other trailer, in the mixer, but let's just see. Let's put more. Let's put 5% in here. Alright. I don't know whether it'll let me do this or not. Probably not. This isn't really this isn't really right. Yeah, no, it's not gonna let me fill that. Okay. I didn't kinda think so, but hey, you know, you gotta try. You gotta try. So total mixed ration we're still gonna have to do. Oh man, that's gonna be a lot of work. Hopefully I can dump this back in to here. I doubt it. I bet you this won't work either. Yeah, no, I can't do that. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do with this now because I don't think I'll be able to dump it into the silo building here either. We'll try that too, I guess.
course dump. Um, I'll unload here, left control and I. Yeah, that's going to put a big heat back in there, but I mean, that's all right. Oh, big heat. Wow, that was quite a bit. It's a lot more than you think. <laughs> all right, well, that's good. Um, we'll drink everything with the Moo Moo Cow. Should be good for now. We could use some of total mixed ration, but they're, they're all right for now. They'd be good for a while. Okay. Crunch. Park that there for now. We'll need in our truck. Where did our truck end up now? It should be. Hmm. That's at the sh shop. Oh no, that's there. Okay, uh, those are the other trucks. Hmm. An excavator. That's a flatbed. We got to hook onto that. Where the heck did our truck end up? That's the sprayer way down there. We have the flatbed on it. Oh yeah, it's way out here with the. Well, actually, you know what? I didn't know you could do that. If you press tab, normally you know you know press tab to go through things. If you're in a map and you press tab, it'll go through. The things there. I didn't even know that till now. <laughs> well, that's handy dandy, isn't it? Wow, that's clever. All right, we'll unhook that. Oh, yeah, they're getting bigger. Ooh, they might not be too far off. That'll probably be our next week doing that one up. Um, growth is still green, and I'd say it's almost done. Well, that's good. We'll be able to bail that next week. All right, well, we'll go grab our flatbed. Probably going to need that animal trailer if we get pigs, but I was thinking, oh, do we really need it? Flatbed should be over here. Start bringing in some bales. I might bring them in just to a central area and not kind of sell them quite yet, because I want to see how many we actually get. Okay, let's go and see what's going on in the field here. We'll go pick up some of these bales. Sure, by now they got a couple laying out here. These things are massive. You can only get two on this trailer, I think. Pretty, pretty big bales. get three on here maybe. This guy over here should have one somewhere too. Yeah, there's one there. And one there and one there. Looks like that's four bales so far maybe. They gotta be getting close to ejecting more. These big blocks of snow. Buddy over here to do this too. Yeah, we'll get three on, I guess. All right, that'll be good. Get one of these other ones. Maybe we can big up, build a big igloo with these things. Three. That's not too bad. Be a fairly heavy load. Well, there's another one there we gotta come get, so that's good. We got four. These guys are they're getting this done pretty quick, really. Working away at it, I guess. Alright, we'll 
I'll go offload these over here somewhere just for now. I'll load them up and sell them at the end here. I just kind of want to see how many we get. Maybe we'll unload them just in that little lot there. Um, now, what side are these going to come off? There is a key you can hit to tell you. so cheating. <laughs> yeah, we got this little field here to do as well. see one of these guys actually ejecting one of these bales out of here. Uh, we haven't really seen that too much. Now let's leave this parked here. We'll go and... He's at 80%, so he's getting close. It's 89. He's getting really close. 92. That'll be our probably our best bet. 83. Well, let's hang around this guy for a minute. 92 is going to be a wee bit. But I guess the bales being so big, they can actually get quite a piece, you know, without uh, really having to stop, because they only just kind of stop for a minute or two when they're, when they're unloading here. But yeah, this one's getting close. You can see them in there getting formed and squished down. And not too sure if they... Uh, Actually, so must tie these bales somehow. I don't see them on, you know, these bales, but they must tie them somehow. Ninety-six. I'd like to get this guy over to clean that little bit up, but I'll have to wait till he's at the end there, maybe get him to finish that up. Let's see what's going on over in that row. I don't know. Something, something's weird. I might just run the uh, planter down there and grass that one, one swat in there. I think kind of get away from those trees or something there. Something's really weird there. All right, 99 almost. Must be 20,000 for a... Uh, 20,000 for a... Uh, no, it's got more than that. Maybe it is 20,000 for a bale. Probably is. Gonna slow him down. So twenty thousand. It's one bail. Five and eight, nine. Boom. Done. All right. Nice. More money for us. That's pretty neat. And off we go. Keep these two guys working here for a little longer. Um, eventually, this guy next to this guy, I want to put him the other way. Help that guy out. But let's jump in with this fella here now. I'll get him to go down the other row here after. Oh, he's 95 too. We're going to do another poop out here. Sweet. Cotton poop. <laughs> So we'll also get the park bales too, I guess, whenever we get near the end finished here, we'll, uh, we'll get those as well. Whatever's in them, we'll get money out of them too, so that's good. So 
Oh, it's Marge. Marge is driving this one today. Hey, Marge. Marge. 99. Are we going to make it to the end? Oh. Oh, so close. Well, let's, uh... Let's just start this one here until we get a full one. There we go. Um, unload the baler there. Let's go back a little bit so we can get back in here. That's pretty neat. Okay, let's get them working and finish this up here. That's why we're having so much problem here. To me, it's almost like there's they're thinking there's another crop planted in there, but even Bud was screwing up. Uh, you know, even he was messing up. When we were uh, tilling this, so I mean, it's just kind of frustrating. Why it would be fine, and now all of a sudden it's messing up, I don't know. Let's see what he does down here. Alright. Get him going here. March, you change your shirt and your skin color. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. All right, well, we've got a couple more bales we can pick up. Three, I guess, one there, two. Let's just uh, see what sh she ends up doing there. Got three there, that's good. Uh, I can only get two more. There's one there, too. Just totally missed that one. I guess she must have just dumped that out. Oh, okay. So got lots of bales to pick up now. That's good. We'll get this one out of the way. Seems like she's all right there so far. Still not, you know. Oh, crap. Guess I already had work mode on. <laughs> I already turned, I turned it off again. All right, we'll go get this one. Another full load. Got two there. They all seem to be kind of emptying out roughly about the same time. Now, all depending how much we make here, how many bales we get, I might actually turn and burn maybe and do another cotton next week, depending how much money we make here. If we do good money, it might be worth it. Start stacking them right next year. Uh, what was that? Uh, B. Kind of turn that on so you know where they're kind of roughly going to go. There we go. Six now. Pretty good. Yeah, I mean, we spend all this money on these machines. We might as well use them, right? Might as well, might as well get using them. So we might, we might do that. Turn and burn. Do another load of cotton next week. Get a whole bunch of bales going again. 
could almost maybe use one more cotton baler. Maybe. Alright, got one there. I just want to run this side too, so we'll grab him. And uh, how's she making out on the far side? Uh, this just, yeah, something's going on over there. What on earth is the matter with that? Side. So, shh, I'm gonna stop her here. So she went. There's something with these trees. That's the problem. They've been fine though. That is so weird. Well, we've got a machine that'll fix those for us. At least the first. Yeah, there's something within the trees. It's just too close, I guess. They're... I guess that, or the field, or we could maybe plow the field back and put the first kind of half a row into grass, maybe. I think maybe that's what I'm going to do, is just get rid of a little bit of this field here so it's a little bit further off. I don't really want to cut the trees out just because of that, but I'd rather fill the field back in. I mean, if we really need to, we could... Uh, extend the field up the hill there to make up for this little difference, but I don't think that's going to make a big difference over here. What I'll do is get a <clears throat> buy a smaller sewing machine and maybe get them to plant straight down here kind of thing. Just do grass back in here, I think. Or we have that, actually that field deleting tool too. It's like that roller thing. Maybe I'll do that. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look into that. That'll be under miscellaneous, I believe. Nope. Um, oh, is it under here under miscellaneous? Yeah. This thing, I believe that is initial ground state delete fields. Yeah. Okay, so let's buy one of them. It's kind of a weird thing, but. This guy should be all right for a few minutes. Actually, that one there. Let's grab him. We need to move him anyways. Where did he go? Take this one up and grab that field deleter. I think we'll just delete that first kind of bit there. Just put her back. Get away from that rock. Get away from those trees. And then we should be fine. I think that's all it is. How crazy is that, eh? Holy smokes. Because those trees have been there for a long time. And now all of a sudden it's messing things up. That seems kind of weird. Kind of weird. But yeah, that rock's always been a problem, so I'm just going to go and psh, that area there all the way down. And then, uh, like I say, if we need to uh, regain a bit, I guess we could go up that hill a little more. Clear off that bit more of that hill and just go up there a little more, maybe. Whoa, what the heck was that? Wow, crazy tractor. This has got to be the goofiest tractor on the planet, this thing. <laughs> it's not very fast, either. But it works. use this thing once and I don't even think it's been in this version of this game oh what the heck well, that's not gonna work need something with a higher hitch I guess I'll drag her back like this anyways 
old trailer. Uh, well, let's see. Oh, yeah, that's not going to work. Well, with this dragger back like this, we'll have to get something with a higher hitch on it. Probably that case. What the heck was that noise? That was weird. Helper G completed their task. Okay, that'll be... Uh, we better get him straight now. That'll be this one here. Seemed all fine down here, but those trees, that's messing us up. But we'll get away from, from those a little bit. I'd rather lose a bit of field and cut all those trees down. All right, I think we're good. Let's drag this thing home. Where are we going further up? I don't think it's going to make a difference to that thing. It's actually rolling. So we'll have to throw that on, I guess, the case. It needs the higher hitch. But this is just like the three-point draggy hitch at the back here. So, yeah, that's work on there. I didn't even realize that. But that's alright. We'll get him home. It's actually slowing the tractor down a bit. 21. Interesting. So big bud wouldn't pull this right. This tractor wouldn't pull this right. The little mini bigger bud wouldn't pull this right. You need uh, some of a higher hitch on it. But now, if we could manipulate... Well, it's actually not hooked to the three-point hitch, but if we could, I guess, use the, the dolly too, right? That would sort of work. But yeah, We'll get her back here. Just unhook her here, and then uh, we'll grab the case. Let's take this back here. We'll grab the case. Got more bales, I'm sure, out there to pick up. Looks like one... Well, no, that's on the trailer, actually. I'm sure there's something out there already. These guys are working good here. I might take this guy here and put him on the other side. Although, well, no, we'll leave him going there until that one's done, maybe. All right, well, let's take this guy back. He really needs a clean, and it's a brown John Deere now, apparently. Looks like I think David Brown is a brown-colored tractor. Okay. Let's park him in here. This has the uh, higher hitch right there. That's what we need. A higher hitch. Well, I kind of like using the three-point hitch on my actual tractor tractor for hitching everything onto. It seems to work really well. It's all adjustable, right? You can just up and down and unload and stuff. If you're moving trailers around, it's super easy. Wow, look at the wage payment. Oh, $4,000 almost for one hour. Holy smokes. Get her done quick there, boys. <laughs> it costs us a bit, but... Oh, Helper C stopped. What is wrong with him? Helper C. Where'd he end up? Right here. See what happened? Did you go for lunch? All right. Now let's see. This thing unfolded. Oh, that's right. We got to hook it this way now. I 
I've only used this thing like once. Maybe twice. Once the fields are kind of set, they always seem to work pretty good. So I never really bother with this thing after that. We're going to do at least two swipes, I think, here. Now, what else do I have to do? I have to do anything else or just starts deleting it? Yep, she just starts deleting it. Okay, I'll let him... Oh, it won't let me hire a helper. Are you kidding me? Oh, well. Just go like this, then. I guess I wanted to hire a helper, so he kept it straight for me. I don't know if I can keep this straight. But, uh, I think we'll do one pass up, one pass down. If I keep her on this row here, I can probably keep it fairly straight. Whoa, except for that. Yeah, we'll just get rid of one or two rows of them here. Let's try to get three and then maybe four rows, and then that should keep them clear enough. I presume the grass and stuff and junk, whatever, will go back. A big roller. Don't use the roller too often. Well, this type of crop in here, it's actually kind of easier to keep it uh, sort of next to that row and it seems to work pretty good. That should hopefully keep us fairly square because I imagine these rows were planted square. So the edge of this field should be pretty much perfect, I would think. Yeah, right in this area was screwing up. The rest of it's probably fine, but I'm just going to square it all the way along, I think. You know, because we got a little bit cut open too much here and Maybe that'd be the better way to do it is, uh, you know, plow your field and then go through with this thing after. Square things up again. It seems to be working, though. The deleter. We're going to delete her. Seems to even kill grass that, you know, is kind of growing outside of this too. Well, that's interesting. Now we're down to two rows. I've kind of tried to keep the same distance, so we'll go uh, turn and come back and do the whole width, I think. Can. Uh, just try to keep away from those trees. I think that's all it was messing up. We'll get Bud out after here, maybe give him a trial run up here and see uh, if that's fixed it. Hopefully it has. I'm going to get out and pick up some more cotton. I'm sure there's more out there now. Yeah, we might plow higher up into that hill there, maybe. I don't know if the guys will like harvesting that, but too bad for them. <laughs> All right. Deleted. Yeah, it's even cutting the grass out of here, too. Not the weeds, though. Oh, man. Yeah, let's see where it settles in. Nice. See, uh, I don't see any bales laying around out there, but they got to be awful close to dumping more out now. I would think they're probably just out of the low res, you know. I 
probably done one wider. I think I'm going to try it at this, see what happens. If we have to do one row, well, I'll hope and do one row, I guess. Kind of messed up there a little bit, but it's kind of cutting over a little bit there. But that's uh, all right. I think that should be fine now. Should get us away from that obstruction stuff and this rock down here. Shouldn't have to worry about that anymore. Every time I come down here, oh, I gotta pass the rock first. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's all right. That should clean them up. Let's fold this thing back up here. We'll take them back. Put them in the building, I guess. In case we ever need them again, which I uh, probably won't. But. but you never know. All right, we'll grab Bud out. Bud uh, plow in there again, see how he makes out. See if he's cured now. Smokes that comes around quick. All right, let's grab a plow. We're already in this thing, I guess. And, uh, oh, plows are buried right now. Turn, turn, turn. I have to get this guy moved. Probably direct sow that again, um, but um, I think we'll uh, just grab Bud here and then take him a plow and see what he does. Oh, that's it! Crash right into the implement I just parked there. That's perfect. Who left that there?
All right, we'll get him going, and i uh, got to kind of watch him because I don't want him digging into our cotton that we're still harvesting there, but he'll be a few minutes getting up there, I would guess. And we'll see if he's cured or not. Hopefully he's cured. I don't want to see the or not. <laughs> I'd rather not see the or not. I presume that'll just kind of grow back in. Uh, so let's see here. Come on, bud. Don't let me down. All right. We'll let him go a minute there. See what happens. We'll grab some cotton modules. See one over there. A couple there. That's good. Nothing much down this end of the field, though, which is sort of strange. Go around, grab that one. There's two there, one there. Looks like he just unloaded that one. Oh, so far he's doing all right. He's ripping right along there. See him turning around and you know acting weird. Yeah, we might come up this hill a bit more. I might have to remove that uh, solar panel though. Put him somewhere else. Two more out here. That's good. Loaded. And yeah, it seems like he's fine there now. He did a pass all the way down there, yeah. Okay, he's messed up in oh no, he's fine. I thought he messed up in that corner a bit, but So one of these guys, I think I'm going to take them over to the small, oh, stop, small field. Get them working over there. Never one of them gets to the end there if I catch them in time. Let's turn on our little dumping grid here and we'll uh, get this load locked, dumped off the side here. Too tight. Got Bluey. Nine bales. It's going to be worth a lot of money. I bet you there's a couple million going to be here. Wow. Making our money back, anyways. What did we say? Uh, 1.94 million. It's a fair bit of cash these machines we just bought. And these guys are doing good. They're almost uh, getting there. Okay, I just dumped one off too, so we got another load to bring in. Ooh, forgot to turn the thing on. One there, one there, one there. Okay, let's go over. I guess either way, we're kind of in the middle here. One million nine hundred and forty thousand. Now, we want to do something interesting as well. I'll add tax onto that if we had to pay tax. Well, there's a bit of row there too. I better get that too. If we had to add tax onto that too, delivery, freight, PDI, which is like the equipment setup, we didn't have to pay any of that stuff. Um, I'm not going to add that. I'm just going to add tax to see how much tax in Ontario he'd be. So levy is now at 13%. Um, so with taxes added, it would be $2,192,200. Um,
So that's plus 13%. So it's $252,200 tax. Isn't that awful? We just get hosed here in Canada, let me tell you. Taxed to death, pretty much. Oh boy, I better slow Bud down there. Look, he's going to be right into the... Right into here. Holy smokes, sir. He's doing good. Stop him at this end here. He did miss a little bit on the end of the row here, though. I don't really know why. Might not like those trees up there, maybe even. So. I'm going to halt him there because, like, holy man, he's just ripping. Cotton module down here. One of these guys I'm going to pull off. Uh, whenever we uh, get down to that point. This guy's almost done here too, which is good. So maybe one of them will go help that other guy too over there. Alright, let's grab uh, this guy whenever he's done. Yeah, we might clear up the top of the hill and get our field going right to the top of this hill, maybe starting in and around here somewhere up at the top. That'd be kind of neat. All right, I'll get this guy over helping over here now. We still got to do that other field too, I guess, over there. Maybe I'll get this guy over there, and then uh, when this guy's done, or one of those guys are done, I'll get him helping over here with this guy. Actually, you know what I'll do? Stop. I'll get him going up one row here and to the end of this field and then slap him into the other field there. All right, he'll be all right there for a moment. I'll take this load in. This guy's got one, two more swipes there, maybe, roughly. So that's good. We'll get him helping somewhere, too, there. And that other guy in the middle will be done. Looking pretty good. They didn't take too long, but definitely, probably almost could use one more machine to harvest. But uh, uh, that worked out pretty good. Truck's getting pretty dirty. All right. Twelve bales, one dozen. That's a lot of money sitting there. Let's see how much we'll get here for them. bales somewhere out here. Maybe I'm mistaken. Nope, nope, seeing one. Not seeing one. All right. Well, this guy here, I guess, will... Uh, Catch up to him here and sit in with him for a minute. We'll get him going in that other field. Who's driving this one? Oh, it's Jane. Hi, Jane. Jane's driving. She's a pretty good driver at this cotton stuff. She's she's a good operator. So if we go up the hill, we're going to need to clear some more trees, it looks like. Um, 
maybe what I'll do is uh, let's see if I can find that solar panel. We'll sell it back and then maybe replace one somewhere else. I wish I could just move them, but I don't think you can do that. Oh, where are you, solar panel? We're going to move you somewhere else. There you are. Okay, so let's sell that. Yes. Okay. Should be off that hill now. Magically gone. And let's replace it somewhere else because we were making a bit of money off of it. Um, might have to do this in a moment. Is let's plunk him. There. Now we're really short of money, <laughs> but that'll make us a bunch of money back. Some new additions. $750,000 construction fee. Holy smokes, that's going to be a while making that money back. Okay, we'll get this guy working over on this field now. If I didn't put them too close together, I'm sure they'll still make us some money. Oh boy, expensive. might have put them too close together. Too late now, I guess. All right, we'll let this guy work here. Um, what's going to be next? These guys are getting pretty thin down here. So that guy will probably, uh, he'll get that next one done. And this guy is a about the same one swipe left, actually less than one swipe left, and uh, then we'll have two extra ones, I can maybe get another guy over in that little field, and then one guy over helping this guy, that'll work good. Alright, I guess we don't have any more to pick up right now. But what are these guys all at? 39, so he's going to be a while. 65, he's getting there. It's 54, he's about half. And this one, I think, was 60-something. 60 68, yeah. All right. Got a dozen bales there to take in. That's good. Worth a bit of money. Uh, what is the price for cotton? Cotton. Oh, bale sales is actually going up right now. Ooh, that's going to be worth a lot of money then. That's our little bale sale thing there, I believe. Uh, yeah, vehicle grain shop. Pfft, pitiful money. Well, that worked out pretty good, I'd say. Holy smokes. Can't complain about that. And how is uh, this one is still growing? I guess we can get this thing unloaded here. This would probably be all right, this tractor for this thing, but I think I'd still like to use the case. Um, lower bail. I thought this thing I thought it swung to one side I'm 
lowers the cutting thing. I'm just going to leave that right up for right now. That's the window on the tractor. Yeah, I'll probably want that open. Seems to be tractor stuck. Windows. Door. So I don't know if I got, uh, I might have enough room to sneak the other way here. For the first round here, so that I don't have to drive through the stuff. Yeah, we might be able to run that through there. Okay. Oh, we still got some time to wait for that, though. Probably won't be till next week, but uh, she's getting taller. She's getting taller. And hopefully these bales will load onto uh, our trailer, too. I'm pretty sure they will. They'll be round bales, so. Um, okay, Ooh, we're making some wind power there now. Look at that. Windmill is just flying. Alright, these guys are working on their last swipe. That's good. This guy is just scraping up here. That's good. Should be making some money eventually back here on these uh, solar panels. So that costs us a lot of money to put them in, but... Oh well, you gotta spend the money to make the money, right? 47. This guy's going to have a fair bit done, maybe here, by the time we get one of these other guys all the way over there. 47, 67 percent, 78, 48, um, so we'll take, maybe this guy will ride with him for a minute. I kind of enjoyed doing this cotton today, it was kind of fun. We'll, uh, maybe plant plan another uh, crop for next week too. Maybe do another turn turn and burn. And uh, I mean we got the machines here now. We might as well be using them, right? I almost think I want to put a little building up. But um, I don't know. I'll have to bring these guys all back and reset them all I guess back at the, the other side there. Probably be better to grab my uh, truck and trailer and load them up and drive them over, but these things are so slow. Alright, so, yeah, but eventually, I think maybe about here, might even clear all those trees and go up the hill more, I, I don't know, we're not going to go up and over the hill, but just up to the peak of the hill kind of thing, because I think if I went too far over, they'd probably get down the other side and not be able to turn around again. That'll add a lot more than I think what we took out to the field. If, if we think we need it, I don't know. This is still pretty good, I think. I mean, we didn't take that much out of there, so we took a little bit out, but I think we're I think we'll be all right. We'll try this for for a little while, and if we feel we need to expand the field, we can expand the field. We've also got that other field. Don't forget too for um, where the poplars are. That's not going to be poplars the whole time, right? We're going to end up using. Uh, that for growing something else too and then harvesting out of there as well so wheat barley all that stuff so that's the plan anyways so this guy here I'm actually might get just helping beside us here and this guy whenever he gets up there and done we'll maybe take him over to the small field that guy's gonna have it Pretty much done in half by the time we get over there, I guess. But right to the last cotton swab. Nice. Or, you know, what I might do is get this guy, we'll take him up this far side of the field here and uh, pick up what that guy missed. 
Holy smokes, we gotta clear all this out of here too and go that way and up that hill. Holy man, what a field that would be. There's a lot of rock over that area, so it would be kind of crappy. But that's a lot of trees to pull out of there, delete out of there. Holy smokes. Why wouldn't that be a nice field of ca cotton? Uh, canola, I'm thinking. Nice field of canola. All the way, way over to those, to that corner. Oh man, we, we might have to do that. Just, uh, I don't know if I'd make it all one big field here. I'd probably put a, you know, a split down the middle here or something. But holy smokes, that would be massive. Continue on, and then I'll get him helping over here, I think. This other guy here will be, um, well, he's done now, actually. Okay, let's see if this guy will keep going there a little bit. We'll get this guy over to help. Oh, that's a long drive. These things are just so incredibly slow. And... I think while I'm here, I'm going to get Bud to get him to keep going. Okay. That should keep Bud busy for a few more minutes. It's 78%, so hopefully we get another one squeezed out of this guy. The other one that we put in the little field must be getting awful close to. Well, this guy, uh, maybe we'll get him helping this fella here. That'll fill him up. He's on the far side. Get uh, just see, we'll get this guy going on this roll, I guess. Kind of mixing these guys around more than I wanted to, but bring up that other guy and get him to help on this little field. These things turn so sharp. Okay. Get this guy up over here to help. Straight ahead. Almost need to run the machine along here to leap or something. To square it up a little bit. Because, yeah, that does kind of jut out a little bit there. Uh, it's not a big deal, I guess, but... This guy's at 87, so hopefully we got enough to finish this one off here, and then I'll just let the other guy have to get another full bail out of this. Oh, yes, and the rock down here, too. So 87, that guy just ejected a bale. I kind of wish I would have stopped him. I think I'm going to take this one off, let the other guy just finish up. Now, how much have I got in here? Is there actually a bale in this thing? Uh, I don't think there's even enough in there. 
there to Jack, so I'm just going to park him off the side here. Yeah, barely got anything in him, so that actually worked out pretty good. This guy will hopefully get 90%. Okay. 87. 77, that's good. Those guys should have enough there to finish another full bale. I don't think there's any other bales out here now, which is good. We'll just keep on going then. Grab this other one. those other guys work away there and uh, they're getting her getting her done that's good that guys almost full too so that's good as well and buds just ripping these guys better hurry up <laughs> I better get out of there all right well we're just waiting on these guys to finish up Took myself a little break there, so we gotta get Bud started again. He's plowing good now. Seems like just maybe those trees are just a little bit too close to the field. So, that I can understand, I guess. Now, I do want to do a turn and burn. Where are we here? Right about there. Closer. Um, I'm just going to hook up Little Bud. Where's Little Bud? Is he outside here? Oh, yes, he's outside. All right, we'll get Little Bud started planting. We've got nine and nine. That should be good for a wee while. And then we'll have to get some more sewing done. Guys are just about done, so that is good. So yeah, we've, we've always had a problem with this rock here, and I guess those trees for some weird reason. Now, although that's new, but uh, we should be should be all good just to set them and forget them now. Hopefully, set them and forget them. Good to go. Uh, what else? Let me think here. Ooh, that was doing cotton, was it? Yeah, okay. Woo! <laughs> Got this guy. He probably be able to pull this other. Whoa, easy. Probably be able to pull this other sewing machine. I think I've only got one of those dollies now. I think I got rid of all of those. Cotton four and two. We better put a little bit in this one, I think. Fertilizers two. Wow, oh, this thing's actually weird now. Just touch it and it's like steer right out. Uh, see, that guy had an issue with the rock there. Another rock problem. Put this up to about 9%. This is going to eat up a pile of money here. That'll go. Yeah, that should be good. 3,400. Yeah, because this thing, I think you put too much in it. It's just modded so bad. It's 
got huge capacity. Like you could probably fill it once, but it costs you a million dollars to fill it, probably. Um, but it would get so heavy, you wouldn't uh, have a tractor to pull it. Once that cost is 37, we'll go to maybe 10% on the seed. That's probably good. Yeah, see this rock here has messed us up a little bit too. Silly rocks. Oh well. Looks like the cotton's getting spread all the way up to the end of the field there, so that's good. Makes me happy. It's looking good. Wow, this thing's steer really strange. Alright. So. Looks like that guy... Finished the row here for us, so we'll take this guy off. yet. It's only 10%. Oh, and that's not going to be a full bill, that's for sure. Sort of build him up in there. We might just leave him till next time. Though. I don't think I can eject a, that small of a bale. So there's one up there to pick up, and then there's one over there. Let that guy keep going over there. I don't know how full the other guy is. Hopefully he's almost full. That'd be nice to get another full one out of him, but I kind of doubt it. Good. That guy should work his way back here. That'll help. Not to drive him around too far. Nice. Sixteen percent. I'll just leave this in here. We're gonna turn and burn for next week, so. Just leave her right there. Now, this guy I might take him over to this far side again. We'll start him over there. That other guy will start maybe back on this side again and then I got uh, one over the other side and then this guy in the field still now will take him back over too I guess okay so yes we've got this guy here A little bit in him, but not really worth. So I'll take him. Take him down here. Starting over here, so just back them in here. Way out of the way of that uh, guy coming down here. Should be all good there. And so that guy, now let's see here. So 
that guy there, we got a guy here, and this guy we'll put back here maybe, and this guy here, we'll leave at the end. That'll work. Oh, he's only 6%, he must have just dumped one. Oh yeah, he just dumped one back there. Okay, that's good. We have two more down there. I don't know where that guy's sitting, but I know there's one out on that field there, so we got another one there. Well, that's good. We didn't do too bad today, you know. Good sized field. She could go wider, though. We could cut more trees out of that behind there and then uh, go up more north or south or whatever direction that is. we really wanted to, we could make her bigger again. Holy smokes, imagine. Wow. It would be kind of neat to see it that big, though. That's a lot of work, though, cutting open all that field. But we got those new plows with the big buds pulling, so I mean, it wouldn't be terrible bad. want the cotton balls and nothing else. Or plant. Alright, I guess our cotton is fully harvested. Nice. So that's only 10% so I'm going to leave him. Leave him back here too. That guy's probably not going to be 25. Eh, I don't think we'll squeeze another bale out of him, but... Well, let's go pick up some the rest of these. And what's Bud doing there now? He's acting kind of strange because of the last little bit left there, I think. Bud, keep her going there, bud. Now this guy, I kind of want him to maybe head the other way here. There we go. Okay, that's good. Um... We'll get these bales off the field before they're in uh, in their way. It's probably not going to be too much longer. <laughs> Might be. Oh no, we should be good for a bit. I got room for these two, so that's good. I don't think there's anything else. Good, another full load. And we got one in that field up there, and we might be able to eject the one out of the one guy there. That, uh, uh, it's working now still. Jump it. Oh, I got a bit of air under it. All right, yeah, that guy's still got a little bit left, and then we got a little bit little bit on that one rock here. Oh, stopping and turning. All right, we're running out of room here, but that's a good thing.
Nice. All right, look at these field out here. It's just like a bunch of ants working away. That is awesome. Now I've got... This, uh... Uh, let's get something quieter. I've got the thing set up, and I just don't remember 100% now how to do it. Um, but you do this, and you do... Uh, no, that wasn't right. Let's get out of there. Oh my goodness. What did I do wrong? There. No, I don't want to exit. That would be bad. Oh my goodness, you think I've never done this before? Oh my goodness! <laughs> okay, let's try this again here. It's the fly mode anyway, so you you gotta put in a code thingy and then you hit that again. And tab. I'll see, there's a whole bunch of things you gotta keep tabbing through here. And it's, it's quite a piece in it. I can't remember. I think it's 25 of these or something. This is like the uh, developer mode thing here. Debug player. Toggle flight in. There are no HUD mode. I think that was it. No, that wasn't it. But anyway, so I got to do a little more work with with that. Oh, come on, bud. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to chop out some more trees here. Let's see, he's kind of made a mess down here. Anyways, I wanted to fly around and uh, have a look at them guys while they're working, but uh, I have to do uh, figure out how to do that again now. There's a little bit of a method to it. I think I was pretty close there, but... That's probably going to be too far over, I bet. Uh, that's acceptable. Okay. Um, yeah, that. that yeah. Player flight and no HUD mode true. Uh, I don't know if I did that right. doesn't really matter it's all good but that's how you kind of do it anyways I've done it before and I don't know I lose track of how to do it what are you working on here little mister big bud never had a problem before but such a steep hill here they uh, seem to not like it so much So let's jump over here. We'll finish up this field. No, I need this guy. 45. We've got a little bit of cotton left here to pick off. Look at this rock. I almost want to run up the uh, 
roller here and get rid of this little section here too. But Lots of lights on this thing. I think my fertilizer spreader is still at the other far corner of the field, but I guess it can stay there. Should be all right. I might just eject this bale onto the cell pad there and just get rid of it that way. It's only 47% on a big, very big bale. Let's see if that's worth and then uh, Alright, what's this bale worth? Probably already sold it, yeah. 44000 for that, it was only half full. Wow. That's pretty crazy. Why is that not closing up again? bales are just so neat. I don't want to sell them actually this week. I'd like to leave them until next week. Maybe we can do a whole bunch more and then didn't take them all in. So we're either going to do cotton next week again, like we're planting, or we might leave that for a week. And then uh, if our uh, poplar, poplar is ready there, maybe we'll run and do that. Let's see how those are looking. I know they're Probably going to be ready for next week, but hard to say. Let's leave these all here. And what's he doing? He's good. I think this is Big Bud chewing up still, so that's good. He's doing all right. And the girls are good. Yeah, they're good now. 90% productivity. All right. I think we're good. I think we'll leave her at that. Uh, we'll just let these guys finish planting here. Bud finished that. I don't think I'm going to plant this field again, though, with, um, with the bales. Um, but this one we'll take and I guess we'll dump over there, maybe in front of all these ones, so we kind of keep them a little separated. This would be a good area here for throwing bales on though too, right? So uh, it's, it's not coming up anymore. You didn't seem to want to unload this one. Why is that? Work mode is off. Huh. Why can't I unload the one bale? That's... That's interesting. You won't let me do that. That's not so good. I'll try to unload it on over here. Maybe I'll sell it then if it won't come off. Okay, what is going on here? Oh, there. No, that still doesn't want to unload. 
Well, that's odd. I guess we won't unload this one. Uh, okay, well, we'll just leave her on the truck. How about that? Should come off, okay. It's something wrong there, I, I don't know. Marker position. Wow, that's kind of strange. I guess we can only do, must be a little glitch with that. Just cruise control. Cotton modules, that's right. Hmm. Interesting little glitch, I don't know. I guess we can't unload unload that. But anyways, uh, I guess that's it for Farm Sim Saturday this week. Let's have a look at these. Yeah, they're getting pretty tall. What state are they in now? They're dark green, so they'll probably be ready for next week after we get this kind of ready to go here. That's what I'm thinking anyways. Uh, yeah. So anyways, I guess that's it for Farm Sim Saturday. So okay, look, we can get lost in this stuff. Holy smokes. Really thick. So you guys have a good week. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch us all Nick, either cotton next week again or probably get into bailing this stuff. And uh, figure out <laughs> how to unload that trailer. I might have to go grab a... You know something. Let's just try something here just for fun. Where were we here? About here. Let's try loading two of these bales up here. And then I'm loading again. Okay, well, it just did it for me, so... Now we'll try... Unloading... What is going on here? Yeah, so we can unload these. Uh, maybe. Unload is Y. Okay, that's something's acting weird. It keeps turning on. Okay, let's go way over here to the way. Unload Y. Nope, it turns the work mode back on. work mode off. That's our unload grid. And unload. Why? So why is it not doing that one? So now we got an extra one. <laughs> Uh, um, that's interesting. That is interesting. I hope this doesn't glitch out. We might have to buy a new trailer. What I wanted to try here was grab the big front loader. Let's see what happens I push on that bale. Maybe it's not actually even there. Could be having a glitch problem. I don't know. Let's just see what happens if we try to push on that big bale. Yeah, I don't even think it's actually there. You know that?
So something's glitched out with the trailer. Oh no, that's not good. Alright, well, I guess that's... We'll look at that next week. Maybe it'll be gone by then when I restart the game or something. Who knows? Uh, let's take this maybe back to where... I don't know where it's going to be. Boy, I'd be hard on paint jobs, wouldn't I? <laughs> driving something in a simulation versus driving something in real life is way different. Alright, well, we'll leave this down here, I guess, by the car. Oh, picking up bales again. So that thing's glitching out or something. I don't know. Do a save. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all next week. And you guys have yourselves a good week.